Today we're going to read the codes on a 2008.5 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 3 liter diesel. It's been acting like it's got a turbo actuator problem. When you take off from a stop it kind of bobbles like the uh, actuator might have the turbo vanes in the wrong position or something. So uh, to hook this up, this is a, uh, a Bluetooth dongle that goes into the uh, OBD port. You'll need a uh, green check mark on the VCI before you can do anything. So we'll put that in there and you will get a, a light on this side as well when it's uh, ready to go. So that's like it's booted up now. We still need to pair it. So go into the VCI. Not very far apart. Alright, so we're connected, we're ready to go. I don't know why it's uh, kind of been acting funny. I tried to film this intro a couple times now. So we're going to read the codes. So the first thing you do is read the bin. Which worked. So we're going to go OK. It's going to tell us what it thinks it is next. Grand Cherokee. The... Uh, Five after the C tells you it's a 2008.5 from what I remember. So that's good. I have to forgive the focus. Uh, has difficulty with this uh, class. It's just going to read all the different computers on here. It's found one fault. That's the tire pressure monitors. So it brings them up to the top and which ones have faults. So I've already read this and I was kind of surprised uh, by which code we're going to see here. So there's a diesel particulate filter issue. Ash accumulation. So this uh, has a fairly fresh oil change on it. Uh, and I don't know why it says 7769, like if it plugged up initially when the vehicle was new. So this code's been in for 39 cycles. So 39 starts, which uh, I start to think three times a day maybe. Wait, 20 days, 15 to 20 days. Gives you some details about what was going on when it got set. And it uh, regen 2,000 kilometers ago. So we're going to hit escape. I'm going to try to erase the codes and see if we can get rid of it. Engine on and off. I don't even know what that means. Sometimes this will really make you question your understanding of the English language. So it cleared it. But we're going to go one step further, and we are going to force a uh, regen on this vehicle. Special functions. So make sure you're not close to a, a building, because the exhaust is going to get hot. So we're going to go OK to that. Engine must be running. OK. So you can hear this thing is like taking 
off like an airplane. Plus there's an airplane that's going to fly. And then you're supposed to change the oil after you've done two regens. It's running the radiator fans at full. It's too loud. So it's 713 right now. I guess I'll uh, start filming again when this is over. All right, it's hard to convey how hot this is getting. So we got a, uh, a lead here I'm gonna bring up to it. even hold it to it. The exhaust is so hot. Let's see if we can get it to catch on fire. It's burning, I can smell it. five minutes. Alright, it is getting really hot. I can't believe it. Look at what I did to that credit card. still going. I've almost forgotten when we started. Actually I have. Anyway it started like choking out there a second ago and sputtering like it was an old gasoline engine dying. But uh, we continue to go. Thank God we're not overheating. I'm definitely not going to just shut this off when it's done because like it is working hard. Might take it for a little drive uh, and run around so it can cool down. All right, we're back. 727. So when the engine RPM is returned to normal, exit the routine. So I guess we will exit the routine by hitting escape. So we're good now. 
there's a bunch of different things that you can do in here. You can rewrite the VIN, you can reset the ECU, reset the VIN. Get live data. Gives you the actual sensor details and the volts or temperature. So engine oil temperature is 93 degrees, so it's nice and hot. The exhaust temperature is 1,200 Celsius. Good God! <laughs> Transmission's up to temp. Actually, I don't believe that. Transmission temp is 92. Is that the engine? You gotta put it in reverse to get the uh, transmission temp. I'm just gonna put this in reverse and see if it changes drastically. Yeah, that's the transmission temperature there when you put it in reverse. I don't know how you would know that unless you just knew the vehicle. She's cooking. Tells you how much fuel you're burning per stroke. Sorry for the light, not much I can do about that. Exhaust gas pressure. Differential pressure is very good. Like it's one PSA is one PSI is seven kPa, so that's not bad. Eighty three oh one. What does that mean? Okay, so it doesn't give you the first two digits, 308301. Uh -huh. Alright. So I had something in this thing wrapped around. It's kind of annoying. So you see the particulate load is uh, 1%. Push the brakes. So as you can see, there's a lot of information available here. I usually use a uh, blue driver. If it's in here somewhere. Yeah, so you can get that for like a hundred bucks or something. They're they're quite good, 99% of the time. But they don't do two-way data like this uh, hotel does. But these are like ten times the price used. So it's a uh, expensive thing to get. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you that. So thank you for watching.